fantastic game, a good spectacle for all the fans and I think, you know, we, we turned up with a game plan, we executed it very well and we've got our awards in the end with a, with a, with a, a fantastic win and a cup for our own town fans, it's just brilliant mate, it's absolutely brilliant. And uh, you said about that game plan, you really closed down their half-backs well. Yeah, we knew Finn and Kane were going to be the, the key to their kind of success and we shot them down really well and it's worked for us and you know all credits to Featherstone now a fantastic team but in the end we, we, we've just picked them at the final post mate so it's been great actually so every hit you were putting in it was that extra bit that extra bit to, to come away with the win i think that's what you need in finals that little bit extra and i think we did that well today we come away with it these boys you know they came together a lot of them at the beginning of the season but it's really showing that there's a team coming together now. yeah we said like i said last time we started off a bit patchy but i think we just hit the nail on the head doing it. If we keep it like this all year, we, we can go all the way again. Yeah, we was we was always confident in camp and, you know, right up until the, the kickoff. You know, we said that there's no reason why we can't win today. I know we were underdogs with a lot of people and, you know, a lot of people wrote us off and maybe Featherstone were a bit overconfident with the result. But we knew we, it, one, to, 1 to 17, we had the ability to get a result today and we all bought into the same goal today and, and everyone tackled, tackled that extra yard and pushed that, that extra yard for one another. And, we got the results so you know it's, it's definitely something that's going to build our confidence but at the same time we need to you know go back in and look what what we didn't do so well and maybe try and readdress that. Carl, Northern Rail champions how does that feel? It's nice obviously it's always nice winning any any game but to win a final against a great team like Pedersen Rovers and the way we won it in you know the last minute you know a great spectacle great crowd uh, played, by, played by the two best teams in the competition at the moment and also it was a really good game of rugby league and, and thankfully we won because it could have gone literally either way. And you say two best teams in the competition at the moment, they're getting quite a rivalry going between the two and uh, there's been some really close games through the year and just shows like that on the pitch there. We probably have well, we sat one on two on the ladder but there's another team to beat. Uh, they've been there and thereabouts for the last few seasons, Featherstone, uh, set the standards for everybody else to chase and uh, and we're closing the gap on them, but you know, I'm sure there's other teams this season want to get to the grand final as well. Uh, you know, Batley's, Lee, Sheffield's very, very strong teams who could go on all the way as well. But nobody would be surprised if the grand final was, wasn't contested by the same two teams as today. I'm a local lad and I live in Halifax, so it's a fantastic feeling. All these people, you know, I, I see them every day. It's just absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy for all the fans who support us. It's just a great day out and. Let success continue with Halifax Rubble League, eh?